Hey, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be talking about an asteroid um, that's called 2024 YR4. Um, it's 60 meters across and why NASA wants to nuke the f thing. This asteroid got a lot of attention um, because originally it had a 2.3 chance of hitting the Earth. But after more calculations, that probability dropped to 0.001% chance of hitting the Earth. However, the chances of it hitting the Moon jumped to 4%. Now, let's say if this thing were to hit Earth, it would cause a bit of damage, but it wouldn't be like a planet killer or anything. Um, it would probably explode in the atmosphere, similar to what happened in Siberia so why does NASA want to nuke this thing? Um, so it's not big enough to like, you know, dislodge the moon and make it crash into the Earth or anything. But the official story is that um, an asteroid this size could cause a big explosion and could cause a lot of debris potentially hit and um, damage our satellites. Now, what if NASA is worried that we might see something that we're not supposed to when this asteroid hits the moon? Now, I'm sure that you've all heard about the hollow moon theory. And this is because, you know, the, the moon, despite being our constant companion, the moon remains a scientific enigma. Its formation, density, orbit, and composition still defy complete explanation. Um, now there's been theories on, on how the moon was formed, like the capture theory, the moon was an independent object um, captured by Earth's gravity, but the orbital dynamics make this nearly impossible. The accretion theory, Earth and moon formed from the same dust cloud. But if true, both should share similar cores and spin patterns, and, and they don't. And the giant impact theory, a Mars-sized object hit Earth and the debris formed the Moon. It's the most accepted theory um, to this day, yet it requires nearly impossible precision. Uh, no single model explains every anomaly. So there's one theory that would explain all of these anomalies, and that's that the, uh, the Moon is hollow and artificial. Now, Moon rocks are older than Earth's, the moon's surface thus differs chemically from its rocks and the magnetic properties don't match the absence of a magnetic field. Craters of, of different sizes have nearly identical depth, suggesting a tough subsurface layer. During the Apollo missions, um, when a spacecraft was deliberately crashed onto the moon, it rang like a bell for hours, suggesting a low density or hollow structure. Its density is only 60% that of Earth, inconsistent with a solid body of, of its size. The orbital coincidences as well, you know, the, the moon is one quarter of Earth's size, far larger than any other planet moon ratio. Its orbit is nearly perfectly circular from the Earth. It appears the same size as the sun. The, the mathematical coincidences are, are striking. And then there's been, you know, a lot of myths from multiple cultures like the Zulu and the, the, the Sumerians that they describe a time before the moon. Some link its arrival to global floods and climate stabilization and allowed life to thrive. Unexplained flashes and mist and glowing craters um, known as transient lunar uh, phenomena continue to be observed. Uh, photos from early lunar missions allegedly show artificial looking towers and structures um, that later vanished from official archives. So the hollow moon theory was proposed by two Soviet scientists back in the 1970s. And they proposed that the moon is hollow, artificial, and was brought here by some kind of intelligence. So what if NASA doesn't want us to see a collision? Um, because it might reveal the actual truth about the moon. Because if an asteroid were to hit the moon, um, you know, it might reveal what's underneath the surface if the explosion is, is big enough. And, and that might be why NASA um, wants to stop this asteroid from hitting the moon by any means possible. All right, so that pretty much sums it up for today. Let us know in the comments what you think about all this. Um, hit that like button if you can. And until next time, cheers.